there. Right, I want you to put the tip of your tongue up behind your back teeth. Your top teeth, I should say. Right, okay. Just put your tongue down and tongue up to that spot again. And down. Terrific, all right. Can you make your mouth fairly wet for me? You'll need a little bit of saliva in there. Fine. Put your tongue tip up behind your top teeth on the spot. If you could then put your back teeth together and to keep your lips pulled back. Now I'd like you to combine all of that and slurp. Next I'm going to teach you how to strengthen your tongue tip. When you used to swallow in your old way, your tongue used to press on your teeth or between your teeth as you swallow. Therefore, the tip of your tongue wasn't getting as much exercise as it might need to have or as much strength as it might need to have to learn to swallow your new way. What I'm going to do is teach you now how to swallow and to strengthen your tongue so that your swallow can be done more effectively. What I'd like you to do is just take one of these little elastics, right? And if you can, pop it onto the tip of your tongue, right? And then put your tongue up to the ridge behind your top teeth. And up, and down, and up, and down, great. Is the elastic sliding around a little bit on your tongue? Uh. Yeah. Okay. See if you can put it back onto the tip of your tongue for me. Terrific. This time I'd like you to just put the elastic up behind your top teeth and then sit fairly comfortably. You can shut your teeth together or your mouth together. And just hold that elastic there. Good. This is a good exercise that you can do at home when you've got some spare time. Perhaps when you're sitting in front of the television, you can just put an elastic on the tip of your tongue and see how long you can hold it up there for. Craig, this exercise is designed to help tone up your lips. Because you've been swallowing in a different way to the way we're teaching you to swallow, your lips aren't quite as firm as they perhaps could be. So what I'd like you to do is to take one of these cards and hold it lengthways between your lips. Okay, that's right. Not between your teeth, just between your lips. Does that feel okay? What you're doing by holding that card between your lips is giving your lips some exercise, perhaps in a way like going to the gym and lifting weights. Your lips are having to work hard to hold that card in, as if the card is a weight for it. Um, a good idea with the card is to practice daily. So you might start with, say, a minute uh, and build up over a period of time to about half an hour of holding the card between your lips. And often in front of the television is a good time. The first day you might like to sit with the card between your lips for the duration of, of one ad. And then the next day you might like to sit there for the whole length of a series of ads and gradually build it up to about half an hour, perhaps the length of a show that you watch for about half an hour. Yeah. Okay? Now, as you, your lips get used to the weight of that card, it becomes fairly easy. So what we can do is we can make the weight of the card a little bit heavier. There are a number of ways you can do that. First one might be to actually take a peg and pop it onto the end of the card and then put the card between your lips. Right. Or you can try a bigger sized card, a postcard or a birthday card is often good to use. Same thing, just hold it between your lips, not your teeth, and just let it hang there while you watch television or yeah. do some other activity. Does that sound okay? Yep. We've learned a number of exercises designed to strengthen our lips and tongue. When swallowing correctly, we must place the tip of the tongue behind the top teeth. To help us remember to practice and think about the correct tongue position during the day, we use reminders. Markings on the hand are the most useful, as the hands are frequently in the line of vision and are also the path by which food is carried into the mouth. The first we saw Craig using earlier a coloured dot on the finger is less obvious, but still a useful reminder. The colour of the dot could be changed day to day. Sharon finds nail polish a good reminder, but unobtrusive. If there's difficulty wearing nail polish to school, only one fingernail need be coloured. 
I'm going to teach you how to do the tongue click. What I'd like you to do is to pull your tongue or to suck your tongue up into the roof of your mouth and then let it drop. Would you like to try that for me? Terrific. Can you do two more like this for me? Great. As you did those, did you feel your tongue getting pulled quite strongly up into the roof of your mouth? Yes. Okay. What I'd like you to do if you're practicing that at home is to try and look in front of a mirror and to see the skin or the frenum underneath your tongue as you're clicking. This ensures that you're getting a really nice lift and getting a strong tongue click and really working your tongue quite hard. Would you like to do three more for me like this? Very good. We now use a sound to help us achieve a more appropriate position for the front of our tongue when we swallow. The sound that we use is ch. I'd like you to try that sound for me. Can you say it? Ch. Great. Can you say it with a bit more energy? Ch. Ch. Terrific. Did you feel where your tongue went when you said that sound? Yes. Whereabouts? The skin at the top of my teeth, the back. Right. Okay. Can you try two more for me? Terrific. Can you feel your tongue going up on the roof of your mouth? Yes. Right. Now we're going to combine that sound, the ch, with the slurp swallow. So what I'd like you to do is to say two ch sounds and then a slurp swallow, like this. Ch, ch. You might need a wet mouth to do that. Can you get some saliva in there? Yeah. Right. Great. Where did your saliva go? Straight down. Good. That's where it's meant to go. We're now going to teach the back of your tongue to be involved in our new way swallow. So far we've worked on the lips, the front of the tongue, and now the back of the tongue. What we're going to use is the word kick to help get the right movement at the back. What I want you to do is to watch me as I say the word kick and see if you can see the back of my tongue humping up towards the roof of my mouth at the back. I'd like you to try that word for me. Right. Can you try two more? Open your mouth fairly wide and see if you can really feel that. Right. What we do is when you chew your food, you chew it up and when it gets back to a certain point, if you use the word kick, the food will go down your throat. What I'd like you to do for me now is to say a fairly loud kick. Kick. Okay. Can you make it a softer one now? Kick. Kick. Terrific. And this time I'd like you to just whisper it. Uh-huh. And this time, see if you can not say the word aloud, just think it, but still get your tongue to move. Great.